school team oh coverage. Goodness. Students, teachers and staff in several upstate uh, districts are now midway through their first week of school. We have live team coverage. 7 News' is Christine Scarpelli is in Inman. We'll check in with her in just a moment, but let's start with Jennifer Martin. She's live at Calpens Elementary School. Good morning. Hey, good morning, guys. So we are here at Cowpens Elementary, which is welcoming back a group for its second day today. They're on a hybrid schedule here. And we've got the principal, Cindy Sneed, with us. Thank you so much for joining us very early this morning. Oh, and my pleasure. Good morning. I imagine that uh, the students are really excited to be here, and a lot of them are having fun sporting different masks with lots of designs. What have things been so far? Well, things have actually been extremely well organized and planned and as hard as that is for me to believe after all the hustle and bustle to get them in here but it's worked really well and the best part is seeing the babies get out of the car <laughs> and having that excitement that's just all over their face and you can see it even through that mask that they're wearing had a little four-year-old came in yesterday with a t-shirt had a dancing bear with a mask on the bear and six feet on its hat. So, Very he, sweet. yeah, they're they're taking it in stride, and uh, they're coming in and they're just happy to be here. And so, lots of things. Um, one group coming Monday, Wednesday. Another group coming Tuesday, Thursday. Then yes. you've got that virtual day Friday. Yes. Uh, masks required. You're asking them to bring water bottles. So, lots of rules here for students uh, to follow, but uh, but it sounds like they're doing great with that. I um, wanted to ask you real quick about um, this Spartanburg company that donated some school supplies to you guys, over a thousand dollars worth of school supplies that they matched in funding as well, right? So how, yes. is, how does that fill a need for Cowpens Elementary specifically? Well, um, especially this year, so many people just did not have the ability to go out and buy school supplies for their children, and we didn't want that to be one more worry. So Cooper Standard was really kind to partner with us, and they did stuff the bus, and <laughs> uh, their folks um, who've also been suffering through some of this financially as well. They were still kind enough to reach into their hearts and, and donate school supplies for our children. So that's going to mean a great deal when they can walk in the door and have what everybody else has, that's and so mom great. and dad don't have to worry about it. Because it's been a tough time for everybody, so yes, it's great to see what the Spartanburg community is doing, especially for your school in particular. Thank you so much, Absolutely. Cindy. We'll hear from you later. Thank you. And we will bring you more about what Cowpens Elementary is doing in the next half hour. Live in Cowpens, Jennifer Martin, 7 News. Jennifer, thank you. Sabila?